The vast majority of cars in the United States are gasoline powered. Actually, about 96.8% of passenger cars and light trucks are gasoline powered. But why is it that the big semi trucks are all diesel powered and not driving on gasoline? Well, there are four main reasons for this. But first, let's look at the chemistry of diesel versus gasoline. To grasp why trucks favor diesel, we'll start with a look at the molecular makeup of these two fuels. Diesel fuel contains larger hydrocarbon molecules compared to gasoline. These larger molecules contain more carbon atoms, which results in a higher energy density for diesel. Imagine it like this. If gasoline is like a sprinter delivering quick bursts of energy, diesel is the marathon runner with a long-lasting steady supply of energy. This inherent energy density makes diesel an ideal choice for vehicles that need sustained power over long distances, like trucks. Which leads us to the first reason why trucks are diesel powered. Torque matters. Trucks require substantial torque, the twisting force that gets heavy loads moving. Torque provides the necessary muscle to handle these demanding tasks efficiently and safely. It's what allows trucks to start from a standstill accelerate with heavy loads, and maintain speed while climbing hills or navigating rough terrain. Unlike gasoline engines, diesel engines are built with higher compression ratios. Picture a piston compressing air inside the cylinder before ignition. This compression generates intense heat, causing the diesel fuel to spontaneously ignite when injected. This process results in a powerful, high-torque output even at low engine speeds. Diesel engines typically have a longer stroke length than gasoline engines. This means that the piston travels further down the cylinder before it reaches the bottom. This longer stroke length gives the piston more time to push against the crankshaft, which produces more torque. In a gasoline engine, the fuel is mixed with air and ignited by a spark plug. This creates a more gradual combustion process, which does not produce as much torque. Also, diesel engines generate their peak torque at lower RPMs compared to gasoline engines. This low-end torque is particularly beneficial for heavy-duty applications like trucks and industrial machinery, where a strong initial push is required to move heavy loads. So, diesel engines are just way more effective to produce torque than gasoline engines, which is one of the reasons, but it's also because of Fuel Efficiency Diesel engines are more fuel efficient than gasoline engines because they burn fuel more efficiently. Diesel fuel has a higher energy density than gasoline, so it takes less fuel to produce the same amount of power. Diesel engines also have a higher compression ratio than gasoline engines, which means that they can extract more energy from the fuel. This translates to longer driving ranges and reduced fuel costs for trucking companies. Think of it as getting more miles per gallon critical for long-haul trucks that cross vast distances. A long-haul trucker can drive hundreds of miles on a single tank of diesel, reducing downtime for refueling and increasing productivity. But you might wonder why fuel efficiency is so important for truck companies. Then, let's try and do the math. Diesel engines are typically 20-35% to more fuel efficient than gasoline engines, and the semi-trucks average 6.5 miles per gallon. The annual mileage of a typical long-haul semi-truck driver in the United States is around 100,000 miles, which means a semi-truck would use around $70,000 on diesel a year, whereas a gasoline engine would use around $84,000 for the same miles. And imagine you have 10 trucks, then it suddenly means a lot to your company's existence whether you are fuel economical or not. This would also require bigger fuel tanks, which affect your payload, or you would have to stop to refuel way more often. And here, we have not even included in the calculation the costs of services and maintenance, which we delve deeper into now. Durability matters. Trucks endure harsh conditions daily. Durability is a non-negotiable requirement. Diesel engines are built with heavier and more robust components. They have stronger crankshafts, connecting rods, pistons, and cylinder heads. 
this sturdier construction allows them to withstand the higher compression ratios and greater stresses associated with diesel combustion. Diesel engines generate their peak torque at lower RPMs compared to gasoline engines. This means that they operate within a narrower and less stressful RPM range, resulting in reduced wear and tear on engine components. The stronger engine components and lower RPM operation result in less wear and tear over time, resulting in diesel engines being able to drive longer before needing service and maintenance. Diesel engines often require less frequent maintenance and fewer parts replacements, contributing to lower overall operating costs and reducing downtime. Furthermore, diesel engines typically have longer lifespans than gasoline engines when properly maintained, which is why you also see semi-trucks exceeding 1 million and some even 2 million miles. But another crucial reason that semi-trucks use diesel and not gasoline is emissions control meeting regulations. When comparing the carbon dioxide CO2 emissions of diesel and gasoline semi-trucks, diesel trucks typically emit less CO2 per unit of energy produced. This is due to the higher energy density of diesel fuel and the greater thermal efficiency of diesel engines. Diesel engines are generally more fuel efficient than gasoline engines, especially in heavy-duty applications like semi-trucks. Because they extract more energy from each gallon of fuel, they produce fewer CO2 emissions per mile traveled. Diesel engines historically produced higher levels of pollutants like nitrogen oxides and particulate matter. However, advancements like selective catalytic reduction SCR, and diesel particulate filters DPF, have made modern diesel engines much cleaner. They now meet or exceed stringent emission standards allowing trucks to run responsibly while minimizing environmental impact. So, it's not really because diesel is polluting less, but because it is more fuel efficient. They produce fewer CO2 emissions per mile traveled. But what if you look 10 to 15 years ahead? The future of semi-truck fuel? Manufacturers are constantly improving engine designs and emissions control technologies to meet stricter regulations and reduce environmental impact. Modern diesel engines are cleaner and more fuel efficient than ever before. They feature advanced emissions control systems like SCR and DPF to reduce nitrogen oxides and particulate emissions. However, governments and consumers are becoming more environmentally conscious. They are demanding products that are transported in an environmentally friendly way. This is pushing manufacturers to develop and manufacture other types of trucks, such as electric trucks, which reduce zero emission, have lower operating cost, are quieter as they have no engine, and produce high torque from a standstill. However, it's not all good. The production of an electric semi-truck has a much larger CO2 emission than a diesel truck. You have a limited driving range before you need to charge, which can be very time-consuming. Also, there is very limited charging networks for trucks. Furthermore, the battery will degrade over time. There are limited models available as electric and the upfront cost is significantly higher. There is also the solution of hydrogen fuel cell trucks, natural gas trucks, and different hybrid versions. However, they all have some limitations or downsides which make them unable to provide a better or more versatile solution than diesel and therefore cannot replace the diesel engines as it is now. It's likely that the trucking industry will see a mix of these technologies and fuels in the coming years, with a growing emphasis on electrification and hydrogen as cleaner alternatives. The pace of adoption will depend on various factors, including technological advancements, infrastructure development, regulatory incentives, and market demand. While it's uncertain if all trucks will be electric or hydrogen powered within the next 10 to 15 years, it's clear that the industry is undergoing a significant transformation toward cleaner and more sustainable transportation solutions. There you have it the detailed exploration of why trucks use diesel instead of gasoline. From the molecular level to real-world applications, we've uncovered the scientific, engineering, and practical reasons behind this choice. It's this synergy of torque, efficiency, durability, and emissions control that makes diesel the powerhouse for trucks on the road today. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. 
If you found this video informative and engaging, please hit the like button, share it with fellow truck enthusiasts, and subscribe for more captivating automotive insights. Until next time, keep those wheels turning and stay curious.